My name is Arturo Enriquez. My background is in the digital marketing sector. I discovered my calling for teaching when I gave classes to bachelor students for almost four years. I am currently a participant in the full-time MBA at the Padme, and I am near my graduation. In this video, we're going to analyze the Aqualisa Quartz case, which is situated in the early 2000s. Here, we're going to discuss about new product launches, distribution channels, and target selection. So, let's start. To tackle this case, we're going to use the Marketing 5Cs framework. This framework is useful to understand the situation of the case so that we can provide later a solution. Let's go to the company side of this framework. Aqualisa is a UK shower manufacturing company that has a healthy financial situation. Our current net income is of 17 million euros. Their managing director, Harry Robinson, an MBA from Harvard Business School, has a clear focus on developing the R&D department. Currently, the company has two brands in the market, Aqualisa and Gainsborough. This one is dedicated specifically to the electric shower category. And we have a star product, which is the Aqua Wealth 609. Context. Although every home in the UK has a bathtub, only 60% of them has a shower. In this market, 40% of sales come from replacement from these showers. The plumbing system dates from the Victorian area. This makes it to be gravity fed. They need a cold water cistern and a boiler tank to store hot water. That gives problem of pressure and temperature. To solve this problem, the industry has three product categories. The first one is electric shower. In this category is where Aqualisa has their independent brand, Gainsborough. The second segment is mixer shower valves. These make a mixture between hot and cold water to gain the desired temperature, but they need to buy an external pump to give water pressure. Third, we have the integrated power shower. This works as a mixer shower, but they already have the pump integrated. An interesting thing about this industry is that most of the companies recycle their product design, but they don't work in innovation. Customers. The shower market in UK has five segments of customers. First, we have the premium ones. They usually buy in showrooms, they prefer high performance services, and usually style determines their product selection. Then we have standard. They look for performance and service, but they usually use independent plumbers for the product selection. Then we have value. They look for convenience and price. They don't like anything that is related to excavation, and they also use independent plumbers. Then we have the do-it-yourself market. They buy in large retail outlets. They look for inexpensive products, and they usually buy electric showers. Finally, we have developers. They build new homes and they look for inexpensive products because they are price sensitive, they don't like innovation, and they usually take into account the plumbers for their decisions. Except for the luxury developers that actually invest in their products. In this segment, Aqualisa has a specific brand called Shower Max that is only sold through special contractors. Channels. The market has four distribution channels. The first ones are the trade shops. They carry out all the available brands in the market. The main customers are the plumbers that work for developers or showrooms. From the total amount of trade shops in the market, Aqualisa has 40% presence in them. Then we have showrooms. They carry out high-end products and brands. They work as consultants for customers as they help them through the whole selection process. They even offer them installations that are carried out by plumbers. From the 2,000 showrooms in the market, Aqualisa has presence in 25% of them. Then we have do-it-yourself sheds. They give them great discounts and go for volume. Aqualisa is not available in this channel, but here's where Gamesboro enters the picture. 
from the 3,000 do-it-yourself sheds that has a market, Games World has present in 70% of them. Then we have plumbers. In the UK, there are 10,000 plumbers that go for training three years and then go to apprenticeship to go for master plumbers. Right now, there are shortages of plumbers. That's why people need to wait at least six months in order to get a service. Plumbers do around 40 to 50 installations per year. Competitors. Aqualisa has two strong competitors in the Shower UK market. The first one is Triton. They are the strongest one in the electrical shower category. They have 43% of the market share. And there is a unique aspect of this competitor. They are the only ones that have managed to create brand awareness at the consumer level. Then we have Mira, which are the stronger ones in the mixer shower category. They have 36% of the market share. Aqualisa has a second position in both categories, with 16 and 17 respectively. We can see here that although Aqualisa has position in the market, there is still a huge gap between their strong competitors. That's why we need to do something about it. So, after analyzing the framework, we're going to go to the problem. The market was starting to perceive Aqualisa's product as overpriced. To solve this problem, Rolling Zone dedicated a certain amount of resources to scientific and market research. From this research, there was a technological breakthrough. They developed a technology that allowed the shower to control the temperature of the water via remotely. They invest 5.8 million euros in this technology and they created quartz standard and quartz pump, which cost of 175 and 230. They launched the product on May 2001 and they target first homes with kids, elderly and handicaps. This because of the easy way to use the shower. The main problem comes from the next factors. Aqualisa only had 20 people in their sales force. 90% of their time they dedicated to maintain existing clients and only 10% to gathering new clients. They mainly sold to distributors. They only managed to sell 15 units of aqua quartz per day. Also, there was a problem with plumbers. They were reluctant to try this product because they had a bad previous experience with electronic technology. Also, the sales force believed that this new product, Aqualisa Quartz, might cannibalize their main star product, which was Aqua Wolf 609. Solution. So, in order for us to work with our proposal for solution, Let's first identify the value we can generate from Quartz and its customers. To do so, we're going to use the customer lifetime value. To calculate which number, we're going to use a series of factors we already know and make the formula. We know that the lifetime average of this product is five years. We also know that plumbers can go between 40 to 50 installations per year. If we do an average, we'll see that we can have 45 installations per year. Then, we have two types of products for quartz, standard and pumped. If we do an average of both prices, we have an average price of 512 euros. If we multiply this by the average installations we can have per plumber, we will have that we have a revenue of 23,000 euros per year. And if we multiply this by the five years of average lifetime, we will see that the customer life value for aqua Quartz is 115,000 euros. If we do the same for the aqua valve, we will see that the value for this aqua quartz is higher. So this is why it's important to make the sales. So here we're presented with three alternatives in the marketing strategy to solve this problem. The first one is to target directly consumers. Now. This will imply that we will need to create a consumer level brand. Let's remember that Triton is the only brand that had managed to do so. In order for us to achieve this, we will need to spend between 3 to 4 million euros over two years. 
And let's remember we have a 17 million net profit. So this makes a risky move, but we have a healthy financial company. The second alternative is to target the do-it-yourself markets. Now, we need to be very careful with this alternative because once you enter the discount channel, it's really hard to climb back up. But let's see one thing. Aquacarts has a superior value than the electrical showers. So this allows us to position the brand as premium and charge higher. The final alternative is to target developers. Now, this could be interesting because this can mean volume and also can help us with one big problem that are plumbers, because they will have to install whatever product the developers ask them to. So, after all we have said, our final proposal is the next one. First, we're going to make Quartz an independent brand, just like Gainsborough, but this one will be positioned as a premium one. We're going to be able to do so because Quartz Standard and Quartz Pump will be a high-end product. We're going to target luxury developers and we're going to use the threshold channels to reach them. We are actually going to give them some service benefits according to the amount they order. Also, we have an opportunity with consumers, so we're going to target it directly. We're going to do so by using shows because this channel uses high-end products and brands and especially they expose our product to consumers directly. With this channel, we're also going to solve our plumber situation because with the installation service that Shovel Booms provide, they will have to install our product if the consumer chooses. To support our strategy, we made two scenarios. The first one with average data and the second one with a conservative view, thinking that Aqua Standard will sell more than Aqua Pumped. So, we know we made a 5.8 million euro investment. Then, we know that our average cost in the trade shop will be of 202 and our price will be of 512, giving us a margin of 310, making a break even of 18,710 units. In the conservative one, making the same analogy, we will see that we'll have an average cost of 184 an average price of 493, a margin of 299, making a break-even point of 19,366 units to break even. Now that we know the break-even point, let's analyze each channel. We know that the total units you can sell in the trade shops are 510,000 units, and we have the 40% market share in this channel that give us 204 units we can sell. In the average scenario, we will have revenues of 104,000 euros, and in the conservative scenario, we will have a 100 euros revenue. If we use the same analogy for the break even point in the showroom channel, we will see that we will have the ability to sell 145 units in this channel. Because we know our market share, we know that we can sell 36,000 units, which will give us, in the average scenario, a potential revenue of 18,000 euros, and in the conservative scenario, a potential revenue of 17,000 euros. In conclusion, if we follow this strategy, we are going to be able to reduce the gap between our strongest competitors by positioning a premium brand with technological innovation. We will foster a relationship with plumbers and then we will start making an innovative trend within the market. Aqualisa Quartz is a business case that allows us to analyze marketing strategies, channels, customer lifetime value and branding in one situation.